Oh, I'm in the wrong scene again. How do I keep doing this? Also, my Sims 2 soundtrack's not playing. We're not off to a good start. Hold on. You guys, the stream might crash. Give me like two seconds. <laughs> Are we good? I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> we should be good. Everything's fine. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome back. We're going to play The Sims 4. I know. Shocking, right? You're doing well? Oh, good, Tilly. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna get we're gonna get through the week. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. I look cute. Thank you. I like this sweater. It has like little sheep on it. But anyway. <laughs> oh wait, sarcasm from Tilly. Oh, okay. I didn't see the beginning. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear you're not doing great, Tilly. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear you're doing awful. <laughs> oh god. Your recent best context? Oh, I hadn't seen it yet. Okay, let's find out. You dropped your cup of tea and now your floor is wet and filled with glass. Oh, great. Tilly, you know, haven't you spilled like many things this week? No, I'm sorry. I should bring it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. You know what I did earlier? I was like trying to organize the laundry room a little bit and I had this little like plastic case that was full of like nails and like picture hanging stuff and I was I like picked it up to move it dropped it nails everywhere on the floor the thing broke they're all over the place so I can't even really like put them away again yet because there's nowhere to put them because the thing broke so that's good um yeah <laughs> Oh, no, not like fingernails. Oh my god, no. Like nails to put in the wall. <laughs> Ew, no, I don't have a plastic case of fingernails, okay? Just so we're clear. Yikes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> also, Edda and Thea. We got Ella, Brittany, Jay, Caroline, Simcat, Sadie, Lisa, uh, Corey, Bentley, Becky, Sullivan, Willis, Chelsea, Miss Andrea, uh, Cindy, and Zad, and Naya. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. Let me talk you through what my plan was going to be today. I don't really know if I want to do this or not, but it is what I have written down. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Basically, someone asked me earlier this week, they were like, when are you going to renovate the, the Spencer Kim Lewis house? And I was like, I don't like the Spencer Kim Lewis house. I don't want to renovate the Spencer Kim Lewis house. But then I was like, what if I renovated the Spencer Kim Lewis house? So I don't know. That was, that was my, um, my thought for the day, but I make no promises, okay? Because, <laughs> because have you seen this thing? Like, we need to be reasonable. It might not work out for us, but we'll find out. <laughs> Miss Madam, thank you for the five gifted subs. Gemini, yeah, I put the ghost pillow up yesterday. Isn't it cute? It's Halloween now, officially. <laughs> uh, also, Amy and Emmy and Annoying and Rep and C, thank you for the subs, everyone. All right, this is the Spencer Kim Lewis house. I'm not even sure what can be done about this if I'm being completely honest with you. It's really, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's just a thought. It might not work out, we'll see. I did make this house tiny ones, yeah. <laughs> Renovate by bulldozing. <laughs> yeah, what world is this in? This is Willow Creek. You know the big, the big giant lot with no Sims living in it? The big like 50 by 50 in Willow Creek? That's right there. And this is the Spencer Kim Lewis house in Willow Creek. I can show you from the map again. But yeah, it's kind of icky and I hate modern houses. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's this one though, in case you were curious. Kay and Spark and Graham and Sophie and Lily and Andrew uh, and Catriel, thank you for the subs. I don't know, it, it needs some help. I think I'm okay with it being sort of modern. It does kind of stick out a little in the, in the world. It kind of feels a bit random. But I don't know, it might be fun to keep it random and modern. I just, I don't know if, I don't know. We're gonna experiment a little bit with, with the Spencer Kim Lewis house and see what we can do for them. So, you forgot the Spencer Kim Lewis household exists? Really? Vivian is one of my favorite townies. I just like her. I like the Spencer Kim Lewis family. 
Anyway, that's Dennis. We got Eric. Ah! We got Alice and Olivia. I was trying to click on her, but I didn't do it right. <laughs> Isn't Dennis evil? Oh, he might be. No, he's not. None of them are. No bad traits. No one's evil. <laughs> no one's mean. It's fine. What packs are you using? Oh, Bessie, I haven't decided that part yet. We'll see. Also, the lighting on this lot is terrible. Look, there is a reason we don't build here. Always bad. Always bad. It's okay. We'll try. Oh, maybe I don't want to try. I don't know. Ugh. Base game only? I think I should do it base game only. If we did it base game, it would it would give us an excuse for some parts of it being ugly. You know? But then the rest of the chat says, do whatever it takes. <laughs> so, I don't know. Well, I'll see what happens once we actually start. But you never know. Things may change, so. I have renovated this before, but I think it was back, like, honestly, I think it was way back when I did the Black Widow challenge. So, like, year, years ago, years ago, like, five years ago, probably, six, maybe even. <laughs> um, I, I definitely have renovated it before, but it was for the Black Widow challenge, so it's been a while. I lived in here for a little bit, because in that challenge, you're supposed to, like, marry all the rich townies and then kill them and then steal their house and their money and then do it again and again and again and again. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm seeing a lot of uh, conflicting opinions here in the chat, so let me see. What world is it? It's Willow Creek. I'm shocked by how many people uh, don't know what world, like, what this is. I'm actually really surprised by that. I guess it's not, like, the most commonly used townie house. Um, okay, I'm making a poll. Let me know. Let me know. You can vote. Pax or base game. <laughs> Luna, thanks for the 53 months. Oh, really? That's amazing. Congratulations. And Rosie and Ethan and Dilemma. Uh, we got Anonymous and Carla and Tara and Kay and Spark and Grim, Sophie, Lily. Uh, Ashley, thank you all for the subs. Okay. Okay. 82% says use Pax. So that's a pretty uh, strong majority. <laughs> you never open the lot? Yeah, I don't really come here that often. <laughs> No offense to the Spencer Kim Lewis family, but I don't really come here that often. Unfortunately. Why? I'm trying to open something so I can record this, and it's like... Okay, there we go. There we go. I did actually have um, a small update for you all that I wanted to share. It's kind of bad news, but it's not so much bad news. But I wanted to tell you all about it, because it made me uh, emotional when I saw it. So I just wanted to tell you. Um, you guys know that I, I've had like a long-term sponsorship deal with Logitech for like a year now. Um, and they've been so cool to me. Like I literally one time I was telling chat, I was playing um, uh, truck sim and they were like, oh, do you have a wheel? And I was like, no, I don't have a wheel. And then Logitech just sent me a wheel. I didn't even ask. They just were there and they heard me say it and just sent me a wheel. Anyway, they've been very, Logitech is very nice to me. They heard about my family's cat, Pogi, passing away this week. And they donated to a local, uh, a local animal shelter in Orlando <laughs> when they heard about it. And I just thought that was like the most kind and sweet and thoughtful thing to do. They sent like this graphic, they donated to the Pet Alliance of Orlando. Um, and I just, I thought that was like such a lovely thing to do and it made me want to cry. So I thought I would tell you about it <laughs> because that's just, that's so cool that they did that. They didn't have to do that. And they did that, for, and it, my, it made my parents and my sister cry. Like, it was like a whole thing. So I just thought that I would, um, I would mention it. And uh, Pet Alliance actually is a, it's a shelter here, obviously, but one of their locations burned down a couple years ago. Um, and so they've been, like, working to, to rebuild and move and, and all these things after that happened. And I just, I don't know if they knew that, but um, it's, it's cool that they donated to them, um, obviously, because it's a local place. And it's just, I thought that was really nice. <laughs> so uh, shout out to them because that was really thoughtful of them and they didn't have to do that. So um, thank you. <laughs> uh, much appreciated. Oh, my sweater does match Pokey's eyes. I know. That's kind of cool. Um, and Far and Kimberly and Rebecca and Royal and Krista and Chuckles and Jamie and Lulu and Festering and Lucy and, uh, and Feb and Cookie and Ashley. Thank you all for the subs. I have one more cat update for you. This is a slightly more positive cat update, okay? I, I do this thing 
that I like to call uh, setting cat traps. <laughs> and that sounds bad, but what I mean by that is like, I bought that chair because I knew Snap would like it. And I called it a cat trap and then it worked and she sits there, okay? I specifically set up two new cat traps in my office today, thinking I was gonna get the kittens to like it, okay? Step one, basket on desk. Immediately, immediately a success. Sunny, straight into the basket on the desk. <laughs> She fell right into my trap. <laughs> so she was sitting in there a whole bunch today. Look at this. Oh my god! So cute! <laughs> so cute! Um, and then there's a blanket that I have that I don't even like that much because it's black and I don't really like, I don't know, I don't like the color black that much. I have all these black cats, I guess, but I just, I don't like this black blanket, okay? But I put it on my floor because I knew. You know how they feel about blankets, right? So I was like, the cats are gonna love this blanket. So I put it on the floor. Immediate success. Immediate success. He was like laying on it and needing it. So uh, both of my, cra my cat traps worked very well <laughs> and they like it. <laughs> so um, that was uh, my, my life update from today is that they fell right into my trap. <laughs> so he was laying there on the blanket needing it and she was sitting in her basket and it was just really cute. So <laughs> it's hard to get pictures of him on the blanket though. And they always look weird because obviously he is black. The blanket is black. He is shiny. The blanket's kind of shiny. It like, it's not a good combo. <laughs> it's so cute when pets love the things you make for them. You know, it's like, I did this on purpose, hoping you would like it. And then you did. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> hey, KM and Madam and Teacher and K and, and oh my God, K Nix and K Bell and KM. There's a theme here. <laughs> Thank you for the resubs. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're gonna try and work on this today. Um, so, I was thinking, and this is probably a bad idea, but I was thinking I would try and renovate Spencer Kim Lewis house. We'll see what we can do for them. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try my best and we're gonna see what we can do. Are you keeping the shell? I don't know, I'm gonna, um, I think I'll keep most of it. I don't know. You would just bulldoze it. <laughs> We're gonna try. This might be a bulldoze kind of day. Like we might end up bulldozing this and starting from scratch. You don't, I don't know. Anything could happen. So it should be interesting to find out how it goes. All right, I'm gonna start by deleting a lot of the trim they have on this so I can help them redo it. Guys, I don't want to rebuild it. If I was going to build something from scratch, I wouldn't build something for these people. We're renovating, okay? We're so brave and we're going to renovate. So much of the Sims 4 stuff, like the, I don't know who was doing the builds when they first made the game, but so much of like the original stuff is like this, where there's like lots of, um, I guess, Lots of like funky angles and like <laughs> all that sort of stuff going on. I, I filmed a video today, I'm posting it tomorrow, but I was like reacting to a bunch of the old stuff pack trailers um, and like looking back on some old trailers from the original stuff packs. And when I was doing that, they used in those stuff pack trailers, they had so many builds that were like this. Like that was like their thing. They loved this kind of style build in The Sims 4 when, they, when it first came out, which I don't know about, but <laughs> what even is this? It's the Spencer Kim Lewis family's house. I need to flip it around because the lighting is so bad. I can't do it from here. We'll put it back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Guys, I don't know if I can do this. We'll have to see. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to actually work out. I was gonna try and be so brave, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. Don't give up. Okay, I have I haven't given up yet. I only just started. It's gonna be fine. What is wrong with you? Is it because it's not a room? Oh my god, you guys, this is hold on. Trust the process though, okay. Well, how has your day been? 
Anything exciting happen? Maybe? For any of you? Why didn't you make a room when I tried to make you into a room? You guys, this is a lot. This is gonna be a lot. Grab this, fill that in. Okay, good. Now I should be able to fix it. You got a loaf of bread rising for dinner? Oh, that's lovely. I'm actually really jealous of you. Oh my god, you guys, I can't deal with this. This alone is gonna be too much for me. Why? Pla oh. Okay. Place. <laughs> oh my god, we might have to do something else. I don't know if I can bring myself to deal with this right now. What is it doing? Why won't it place... It was almost there for a second. You saw it, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so Queen Ava, Potatoes, Polar Chain, Mason King, I'm thinking for the subs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And Grimish, thank you for that hype chat who says everyone follow Simsy. I mean, I can't, I can't say that that's a bad idea. Okay, inside the room worked. That makes me want to scream and cry. I don't like this game. I don't think I like this game at all. Now, maybe I'll do this with platforms a little bit. And we'll get rid of some of this fence. Platforms were like a little glimmer in everyone's imagination when this first came out. Makes life so much easier. It's okay, we can do something else. No, we don't have to give up yet. You guys, it's been like 10 minutes. We gotta... <laughs> we gotta focus, okay? We can't just give up like that. We've barely started. We can't let it get to us. Oh my god, can you not delete the trim? Stop. This actually can't be real. I've never seen something so weird in my life. Really? Okay, I can switch it out. I don't know, everyone. This is really, really something. That, I feel like, is already an improvement, though. Getting secondhand anger from how annoying this build is already. I know we haven't even started yet. <laughs> we just got here and it's already doing this to us. How are we going to survive? Okay. Um, I think this might require some adjusting from the interior's floor plan. But I think it would be cool if we had the staircases all up in here. Lighting. Come here. Rip the funky diagonal wall. <laughs> oh no, the diagonal wall. It's not there anymore. Darn, so sad, isn't it? Okay. That's a good start. Maybe we could have like the dining room here and the kitchen could be over here or something. Why is this house shaped like this? <sighs> Maps and Megan Pineapple Liz, thank you for the subs. <laughs> what about round wall? No, 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 no. Don't even say those words. Don't even say those words. That's not even funny. I mean that. This is serious business. We can't joke about round walls. Okay. I'm gonna try and get myself a nice big staircase. I'm gonna make this way cooler. Just you wait. See, in my humble opinion, that is already so much cooler, right? Which build is this? It's the Spencer Kim Lewis family's house. And I hate it. <laughs> I'm genuinely like, you guys, I'm not kidding. I'm shocked that no one knows what this is. 
It's like everybody keeps asking what it is. I did I did not realize that no one was gonna recognize this. What about a moat? You know, Grim, I'm not sure there's enough space for a moat. I'm not sure we've got enough room. Fun in theory, but <laughs> look, it's Saint and RK and Sophie. Sophia, sorry, and, and Sam and Madison, thank you for the subs. Okay. I think that maybe I will open up some of this area too. This build is atrocious, they say. Wow. Strong opinions about the Spencer Kim Lewis family in the chat, clearly. I think that's cool with it being open all the way. You know what else I might do? This is just an idea, but <laughs> I think that it might be helpful for us to have a little bit less going on. Like maybe we could try and get some more shape happening, at least a little bit. Same thing, I might try and like, you know, smaller, a little bit simpler, those are probably the way. I don't think I like the triangle. I think the triangle is too much for me. I think that maybe I should put something that isn't a triangle there. Maybe there could be something that's only one story over here. Well, that's great. I think the triangles are bad. I'm, I'm kind of okay with like the little curved bits. I, I think that those parts are kind of cool. What world is this? It's Willow Creek. I'm shocked. No one knows what this build is. I'm sure a lot of you do, but it's very common. It seems that no one has seen it. Um, this is the Spencer Kim Lewis family. You know, Dennis Kim and everybody um, in, in the Spencer Kim Lewis family, Alice, you know her? They live out here next to that big giant lot. The biggest lot in Willow Creek is right over there. So anyway. Fascinating. It's a good lot. If you ever are um, playing with a Sim who has the kleptomaniac trait, this is a fantastic lot to steal from. They have some expensive stuff in here. Everyone has it removed from their memory. Yeah, no one, no one wants to think about this, so they intentionally don't. Apparently. You mean people actually keep pre-mades? Do you not keep the pre-made townies at all? I don't really mess with the pre-made, like the, the default sims. I like, I don't know if I've ever gotten rid of like Nancy Landgrab before in my life. This lot is your designated graveyard for your legacies. Of course, iconic. <laughs> iconic, that's really funny. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Sometimes smaller is better. You delete all the pre-made townies and make your own. That's so interesting. I kind of like the, um, the pre-made townies, to be honest. Specifically the, like, the Willow Creek ones. I, I feel sort of an attachment to them. I think I made this a pool the last few times that I've done this. Also, I have the house, it's, it's backwards on the lot right now. That's on purpose, because the lighting is bad in the front. I don't know if I want to do this right now. I don't know what I was thinking starting to renovate this today. Someone in chat is the person who recommended it, so maybe it's their fault. It's the Kim Lewis household. Yeah, Lucy. Yeah, that's who lives here. Um... I don't know, everyone. I don't know. It's, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling good right now about this. Just feels too big. Yeah, I, it is a very large building. And like, not in a good way. She says that she adds more space to it. Okay, um, I don't know if I want that there either.
You think remove the third floor completely? Really? I don't know. Doesn't that kind of like take away from the vibes? It's really short if you do that. And it's like this, it's almost unrecognizable if you do that. They don't need a third floor though. No one needs a third floor. Where's grandma going to sleep? Well, we're gonna redo the rooms, Caroline. We'll redo the floor plan, obviously. What if we did like a different townie's house? <laughs> Josie, holy brew! I have the very end look. Thank you for the subs. I don't know. Delete everything apart from the shell. Like, you want me to delete all their furniture? I mean, we can start there. I'm not opposed to starting there. I deleted all the walls just then. Um. There's too much. Definitely do a different Tony's house. Do you think it's bad enough to give up on? I really, really wanted to try, but it might not be salvageable. Hey, August, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way. Yeah, I think part of the problem with this is that it looks like a community lot to me. Like, if you told me this was a gym, I'd be like, oh yeah, it's the gym. You know? It seems like a... It doesn't seem like someone lives here. Make the peach gen house for not so berry. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Not yet. We're not ready for that yet. <laughs> We're not going to do the peach gen house yet. We're going to wait until it's closer for us to actually move into it. Yeah, it's just not cozy. Hold on. I'm going to come back to it. Don't, don't say anything mean to me. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, okay? I'm thinking. You think the BFF house? Oh, that's smaller. That's very small. You wanna do the BFF house? Judith Ward's house? <sighs> Judith Ward's house would be quite the undertaking. I've done the goth family's house too much. This is a blue suburban. Have you guys seen this recently? This is among one of the worst EA builds of all time. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking with this, to be honest. It's like actually offensive. It's so big though. And look at how much of it is just empty space. Like, look at how much of it isn't furnished. <laughs> I always thought it looks like a face when I was looking at it first because they have these windows in the front. I just don't understand why they did this. What do you think? Should we try this? I don't know. This is a, this is an option. Burn it down. Oh my goodness. Someone else mentioned um someone else mentioned Brent and Brant in Brindleton Bay. I'm not sure if I've ever done their house. 
What about the roomies? Oh, I gave up last time I tried to do them. <laughs> uh, this one's cute though. It's too small. This is too, this is too like Simsy vibes though. I always build things like this. Everything I ever make looks like this. Should try something different. You did the swamp farm? Well, that's not what I mean, Lo. That's rebuilding, like, a completely different house. We're talking about renovating a house today. People were saying the roomies. This one is a weird one. It's kind of a strange house. As you can see. <laughs> I mean, it's got potential. It's actually kind of fun. It's- I think this one's kind of bad in a fun way. You know? Do you want to do this one? It's still sort of modern, like the other one, but in like a less offensive way. Yeah, the front door is off-center. It's pretty bad. Oh, I'm shuffling The Sims 2 soundtrack right now. Well, that's why it's playing weird music. You think it's too easy? That's offensive, Lo. That's offensive. Considering I've tried to do this once and gave up within the last year. You can't hear the music? Well, it's quiet on purpose. I can only listen to it so loud. I have to listen to it every day for hours every day. Chelsea, the yellow gym was actually a complete rebuild. It wasn't a remodel. So. You think it's too boring and too easy? You guys are bullying me. I don't know what to do now. I don't think I can do the Spencer Kim Lewis house. The Spencer Kim Lewis house is too much. Pancakes? If they think this is too easy, they're gonna bully me about the pancakes. Maybe I'll just mess with it and see what happens. Land grab? Oh my god, the land grab house is an even bigger undertaking. I don't know if we can handle that today. I've done that too recently. So I don't know if I want to deal with that. The land grabs are just, it's insulting. So I don't want to deal with them. <sighs> Vlad's house is even more insulting. You like the BFF's idea. So not these people, but the base game Willow Creek one. What about Jay Huntington's home? That is Jay Huntington's home. We were talking about that one before. Oh my God, you guys, I'm never gonna pick one because they're telling me to do like 50 different things. This is the BFF's, BFF house that they're talking about. This one's like way smaller. I don't actually hate this house as much, to be honest. I don't think it's bad. What is the BFF house? It's- that's the name of the household. I think this one's too easy. I feel really- uh, I- you guys have, like, confused my little brain so bad right now, I haven't got a clue what to do. Cause everyone has torn me in, like, 5,000 different directions. Someone said spin a wheel? Oh. That we can probably do. That's an idea. Okay. Okay. Um... I want, let me see about this. This is from when I did that, um, the I last used this for that Taylor Swift video. Okay, we can put a whole bunch of things on here. The pancakes, BFF, roomies. What else did I say? Judy. 
I'm not putting Vlad. I put Vlad. I don't want to do an apartment. I don't- Johnny Zest I've done two recently. I guess Brent and Brant's an idea. Maybe I'll put Hecking instead of <laughs> their full names. Um, Spencer Kim Lewis- STOP SPAMMING SPENCER KIM LEWIS! They lost their chance, I tried it, I couldn't do it today. <laughs> Chris, thanks for the 14 months! The Harris household? Well, the ones in, um, Eco Lifestyle? I don't know if I want to deal with them right now. These houses are kind of boring. I guess I could put them on as a maybe. I can put Harris on as a maybe. Maybe we can, um... Maybe we can end it there. Should we spin it? No, 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 about um in Windenburg. Oh my god, I'm come here. Hope keeps spamming about this one. It's been a long time since I did this. Have you guys seen this one? The party house where like Marcus Flex and them live. Jeez. I don't know about- I don't- I wish that I hadn't clicked on it. I don't think I want to do this right now. This is really weird. It- it's like- it's like abandoned church vibes, but also kind of like factory vibes. At the same time. Why is that bed on a diagonal? <laughs> oh my god! What? Just like in the middle of the room. Huh. That is a, <laughs> that is a really interesting choice. I don't know, if I try and renovate this today, I might start crying. I'm serious. I should have just built something from scratch. I don't know what I was thinking. This renovating business was a bad idea, because now I can't decide. I'm not gonna make a shell challenge today! <laughs> we need to give people ample warning for things like that! Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. This is a bad stream. This is a disaster of a stream. You know what? I want to do the- I want to do the roomie's house. And everyone was like, it's too easy, it's too boring, you're stupid, Kayla. But you are stupid! I'm gonna do the roomie's house, that's what I want to do. It's there, it's settled. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about if you think it's easy. Just you wait. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Sorry everyone for spending 40 minutes doing that. I'm not doing well this week in my defense. Okay, here's the house. The roomies live here. You might recognize like Jay Huntington, Gavin, Mitchell, Zoe. Um, and we're- it's just a square with a hole in the middle. And um, I'm gonna try and renovate it. 
Yeah, it's this is uh, inspired by the cast of New Girl, by the way, in case you didn't know. So, kind of interesting. Okay, I'm going to start by... Um, I think that it needs to be, like, made smaller. Or maybe this part can be a little bit bigger. I'll make the hole in the middle a little bit bigger, because... The door is off center and that's just, it's just upsetting. If it's gonna be like this, you have to either like go all out and make it like very asymmetrical or you have to commit and make it symmetrical. You can't do, you can't do one or the other Sims team. It's not okay. It's really, really not okay. I was trying to think about a way to have, like, you're keeping the hole? Yeah, it's cool. I think it's kind of a fun touch, don't you? I like it. Do you not? Oh my god. Just trying to think of ways that we can make this a little bit more interesting. Has this always been this big? Yeah, I, this is uh, just how it is, kinda. Might need to delete the roof. Yeah, I might need to re-roof this completely, to be honest. We'll have to see how it goes. I don't have high hopes right now. This is not looking that good. Inspired by New Girl and a donut, <laughs> apparently. That's the, the main inspiration behind this build, clearly. Okay, I think that what I want to do, actually, is kind of make it a little bit more asymmetrical on purpose. Maybe that's step one. Hot tub in the middle of the house? That would be cool. I like the concept. Oh my god, you guys, this is a disaster. Okay. I think that, um, maybe if we had, like, a smaller little entrance... As a kid, this style with the courtyard in the middle fascinated you. Yeah, I think this is really cool. I, I can tell uh, by the chat's reaction that a lot of you all really, really, really dislike this. <laughs> um, but I always thought that this sort of courtyard thing was really cool, personally. Um, I think it's interesting. It's a little different, but it's interesting. Okay, um... Maybe like I was originally talking about, but we can still have the chimney in the front, perhaps? That'll be where the front door goes. Okay. Okay. You know, that's an interesting point about the grass. It's interesting that they have grass in there. Do you think they mow the lawn in there? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's it's like the plastic stuff, the AstroTurf stuff. Don't worry. But in The Sims, it's all fake grass, so. Extra don't worry. <laughs> it's always fake in this game. Okay, maybe what we could do is I'm gonna regret this. Expand it out one. I'm making the house bigger. That's a real surprise, but. Imagine lawn mowing in the Sims. Yeah, that would be like really uh, unpleasant and difficult, I fear. Imagine they made like a lawn care pack and you actually have to like use the garden stuff. 
There's a mod for it. There's a mod for the most fun things. You mod for lawn mowing. I didn't know about that one. <laughs> it's like the vacuums all over again. Yeah, people are like, we want to have vacuums. And then we get them and we're like, oh. Never mind. <laughs> we don't want to have vacuums. We take it back, actually. <laughs> Oh dear. You think a lawn care kit is your dream? Really? That's so interesting that you say that. I'm I'm like really curious. Um, what about lawn care speaks to you so much? I don't know, Tilly. I don't know if anybody actually yelled about not having vacuums. I think that that's one of those things that a lot of us maybe initially thought would be good. And then we very quickly realized uh, actually, who wants to deal with chores like that in The Sims? Not many people, is the answer. Is that better? It'd be cool if it was like a three-dimensional glass, like or grass, like Hope said. That would be kind of interesting, I think. Okay. I can make this cool. I can make this cool. It's gonna be fine. I can make it cool. Don't worry. I have an idea. It's just gonna take me a second, but I have an idea. I want like some of this gravel. That's step one. You like laundry personally? Yeah, I don't use laundry enough anymore. Um, I sort of find it to be an inconvenience in a lot of my saves I've noticed. The hole could have a glass roof. You think? I was planning on having the hole just be, um, like, empty, like how it was before. That was kind of what I was envisioning, at least. I know that might be a controversial choice, but that's kind of the point, is that it's like a courtyard, you know? Okay, I've made it bigger in some ways and smaller in others. That's what I've decided to do. Oh my god, that's messed up now. Are we just doing base game for this? I don't know, I didn't really decide. I, um, there was a lot of discussion about how the Spencer Kim Lewis house should not be just base game. But there hasn't been a lot of discussion about this one yet. So, I don't know. Hey, Steph, Riv, Kylie, Charlotte, thank you for the subs. I kind of would like to have access to some things, like, to be honest, like, these columns are going to come in real handy for me today. So I think I would like to have them. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Okay. Um, I don't know. We can try and pick, like, a fun sort of... I'll, I have some ideas. Everyone's saying use all the packs you want, so that's good. I will then. <laughs> Bad. Okay, I like to do this sometimes when the game is making me feel sad. Um, and what I do is I take the... Oh my god, stop. It's because I want to extend this column all the way up. So I'm basically like drawing a half wall there so that it lets me drag the column up. The problem is you can't get it like the exact right height that you want. You can get it close, but not exact. Oh, it needs to be a corner. I think it's good enough. It's not. Don't look, look at it from the top only, okay? <laughs> look at it from the top only. It's fine. It's fine. No one needs to know, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Tom, Remy, thank you for the subs. It's a sneaky little trick, though. It kind of works for this sort of thing. Um, Maybe James Random Pack Generator? Well, that's a totally different challenge idea. Maybe if we were doing a challenge, we could do something like that, but that's not really the goal for today. We're kind of just trying to mess around and play with some of the base game builds, so... Okay. Um... This is an interesting start. 
You did it again. You muted me and thought the stream died. Really? <laughs> you did that yesterday too. You're on a roll, honestly. Yeah, it'll be fun to do their rooms too, I think, because each of these Sims have very, like, I think sort of distinct uh, personalities and needs. So it'll be kind of fun to do their rooms and decorate for them, I think. Okay. I might really quickly just clear out the interior a little bit more. So that way we can figure out the floor plan. So we need four bedrooms. And we need those four bedrooms to be kind of easily accessible. Um, okay, just delete. Honestly, if we delete everything, that would be okay. Cause I'm not, I won't be keeping what they have. <laughs> I say that with love, but I, I don't really like it, so. <laughs> All right, a handful of lights, cool. Off to a good start there too. Yeah, sometimes in renovations I try and keep some of the things, but other times it's simply not worth it. It is simply not worth it sometimes. Okay, um, so what I am thinking right now is that potentially there could be Maybe this could be like a little bathroom and then it's very long and skinny, I know, I know. I wanna have a hallway. I'm kind of picturing it being like this. That's only three bedrooms though. I could try and make them more interestingly shaped. Well, Poetic, once I actually furnish, I'll, I'll decorate it to fit their personalities intentionally, yeah. But we're not furnishing yet, so. Um, sometimes, and I think this is one of those times where it's kind of calling for it. Sometimes I will do something kind of like this. Where I'll put, like, a bit of an extra space on. And then we can have this be, like, an extra bedroom. So we can have all four bedrooms in the back. And then they have one small bathroom, kind of right there. And we'll get another bathroom somewhere else. We pretty badly need another bathroom, to be honest. Okay. Laura, Alicia, Poe, good morning, Lavender, thank you for the subs. Okay, I'm gonna make them come all the way down this hallway too, to get over here. Um, do you think that for this bathroom, What if we did it like kind of big? So there's one small bathroom and one big bathroom. And maybe the kitchen could go, I don't know. We could also potentially have like, the tiles are not speaking to me. I don't know, hi Miv. <laughs> Also, Chronic and Laura, Alicia, Sugar, thank you for the subs. Um, so this is all living space, right? Like this is gonna be the living room. We can have like a dining room in the entrance. Um, I don't know. We could also like, doesn't Summer also live here? No, that's a different household of, of roommates. That's, Summer's in the BFF's household in Willow Creek. This is the roomies household in Oasis Springs. <laughs> uh, there's two different households that have um, some like roommate style to them. Okay. You get them confused, really? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, Dom, Lavender, Chip, thank you for the subs. Yeah, it's easy because it's kind of, they're kind of weird. Um, it's easy to get them confused because they're like just two sets of roommates. So easy to mix up, I suppose. I 
Okay, I think that this will probably do for now. Maybe I could extend that out a little bit. Maybe I could put like a desk nook right there. And then this will be one big bathroom, one small bathroom, four bedrooms. Okay, let me really quickly just put some random furniture in so I can start thinking about like space. Make that spot into the fourth bedroom. No, I like I like the bump out because I like all the bedrooms being in the hallway. I like I like the layout. I'm happy with the layout. Okay, so what I was thinking, right, is living room over here. We do some big couches. I'm just kind of putting furniture in so we have an idea of how it's gonna go. There might be a TV on this wall. I was talking about putting like a little desk sort of thing there. Um, the kitchen? This is bad, everyone. Really, really, really bad. Maybe I could put the kitchen in the corner. Is it gonna be base game? I don't know, Starlight. Probably not, maybe, not sure yet. <laughs> no final decisions have been made. <laughs> There's no door to the courtyard. Oh, I think there would have been. There was a door here. I just, um, I'm kind of like redoing everything, so. Okay. Designated office area with like small cubicles. I don't know. I kind of, I don't know if I want to do something like that. I, I still want it to be like slightly similar to the original and like slightly realistic, I guess. Okay. Um, shall I use my favorite tiles? I don't know. Sorry for yawning, everyone. Sorry. I don't know. In my defense, I streamed extremely late last night, and I don't usually stay up that late, and I was live until after midnight, so. <laughs> okay, um, I was thinking about this. These are my favorite pavers. They look kind of weird, though with like where this is placed. Oh, I also want to scoot the whole thing over a bit. Maybe I'll scoot the whole thing over and back just a bit. Hmm. That's not terrible. That seems good, right? Did this, did it ruin this? Oh my God. What about my half wall? Oh my goodness. Game, there's only so much of you acting like this that I can handle. No. Oh, well that's good and fine. Okay, fixed it, sorry. It's probably gonna do that again, so I apologize. <laughs> well, I should just keep doing it. Desiree, thank you for the 11 month resub. Okay. Maybe get famous? What do you guys think about the get famous door? I've always kind of liked this little door. We could use that as our, as our inspo here. Well, not base game. <laughs> We've also used uh, grow or get together in the column. So it's uh, the base game ship has sailed apparently. The orange is like really a lot. I think it's kind of fun though. I think that that's kind of what I would like to go for with this is like some kind of fun, funky colors and stuff like that. We can use that as the main vibes. Funky is good, funky is good. You like the orange, but green is fun too. Green is boring. I use green in like everything. <laughs> My real life house is green. The, all the Sims houses I build are green. Let's try and do something different that we never use. Let's try and use the, the orange door maybe. Just for fun. What if there was an entrance hall? I mean, we could try and make like a slight entrance to the building. Um, I don't really know if I, if I like it. 
they could maybe try and like build out something cool like that. I don't know. So it has like a proper entrance. Hard to do a hallway in a place like this because it's so oddly shaped. Are you copying the floor plan just with different furniture? No. It's not really the same floor plan as it was before. Close off the kitchen and use an archway, you think? I mean, if we wanted to, we could like, um, try and have, I don't know if I want the kitchen to be here though is the problem. I'm not sure, I was trying to put the windows in first before I did that, cause I don't know how the cabinets are gonna be at this current moment, so. Where does the dining table go? Okay, well, I was gonna put it like right here in this section or potentially in this area. I know it's skinny, it's okay. It's okay. Um, sunken living room. That's an interesting concept that I hadn't really considered. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe we'll see is my answer to that. Oh my God, I keep, Okay, um, that, oh, that's bad. Bad, 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 bad. It's gonna look ugly from the inside no matter what I do, isn't it? Okay, maybe I will put the kitchen here like I wanted to originally. It's okay if it's small. And that makes this a big, nice big dining room. Sunken living room, hall hallway, and bedrooms. You wanna sink all of it? Would the snowy escape ones work? What, like windows? That's what I'm using. <laughs> uh, we do, in we were indeed using the snowy escape windows just then. Okay, well that gives you guys the, the proper entrance that you so desire, so. Okay, maybe I will sink this, I don't know, just for fun. It might be kind of cool. Hmm. Can I extend the wall out into the backyard space so the kitchen is bigger? Like this part? I don't know, hard to do with the shape of the roof, so. Will the house be on the gallery? Yeah, Coco, I put all my bills on the gallery. I'm not gonna put it up now. I know you weren't asking, but I'm gonna get ahead of it before someone does. <laughs> I'm not gonna put an unfinished bill on the gallery, <laughs> okay? But I, I do put all my builds on the gallery, so I, I will put it up on the gallery um, once it is done, all right? Every time I start this, people are like, put it up now! And I'm like, well, I'm... Maybe not on a build like this, but like with the... Um, to give an example, like with uh, the cruise ship and stuff, they were asking me to put it on the gallery for so long, and I really, really, really didn't want to <laughs> until it was done. I don't really have a desire to upload the thing twice and like have a unfinished version, I don't know. I think that makes sense though, right? Okay, that's a cute little patio space. We might be able to make the kitchen into like a cool, depending on where the windows need to go. We might be able to do something like this with it, but I don't know yet. Okay, go away, go away, go away. I feel like this has potential. I think I am liking it. Right? What am I rebuilding today? This is the, um, this is the Rumi's house in Oasis Springs. You know where like Jay Huntington lives and stuff? Um, this is their house, the Rumi's house. All right, you left the courtyard? Thanks, it was, that was already there. <laughs> that part we can uh, credit to EA for. <laughs> that in fact was their, their idea. At least that part was. Okay, well that, um, maybe I'll do it like this. Big sliding door is nice. Yes, making a new save file. No, this is just for fun, Riley. It's just for fun. We don't have any particular plans. Okay, I like the sliding door. And then this will be where the dining table goes, like we talked about, which will be kind of cool. All right, I feel better now. I feel better now. Okay, um, 
Maybe we could use, I might change the color of these doors too. But for now, let's just place some doors. It's nice how it's a four bedroom house. They have like loads of space to be honest. It's kind of cool in here. Desert Luck store open to the courtyard. I'm not sure what I want to do with the courtyard stuff yet. So let me walk you through some of my initial thoughts, right? At first I was thinking about using, and I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but at first I was thinking about using the greenhouse stuff because with the greenhouse stuff, um, we have like a single tile door that can fit right there, which is part of the main necessity. Um, and then we could try and like put some doors around all the sides. I think I might actually have this be almost completely windows. But that's kind of what I was thinking, because then we can have a couple doors and they fit nicely and it fills the whole wall and stuff. Granted, the lighting's kind of weird right there. They are the same color. It might not look like it, but they are. So thank you to The Sims 4 for that. The lighting's just weird. But no, no, don't do that. That's kind of what I was picturing. Hmm. I don't know. You think the door in the hall is not needed? Oh, I kind of thought it was nice to have an extra. We're not done, so we can always change it. Okay. I think maybe I'll do a glass table. They have, like we talked about, they have kind of like a funky vibe is what I'm going for with this. Oh, if people don't like my doors, they're gonna hate this. I'm gonna use maybe some of the bowling stuff. If you thought what I had before was bad, well, get ready. It's about to get worse. <laughs> um, bar? Well, I was thinking about putting a bar outside. I don't know if there's space for a bar in here with how we have this laid out, but I was gonna put one in the covered space outside. I'm not gonna go like full, full orange, but I like how it has the orange and the blue. The bowling stuff pack actually has a decent amount of like cool mid-century stuff that we can try and use. Ooh. Do you guys like that rug? That might be a fun one. Okay. I think I'll use the Dream Home Decorator kitchen cabinets too. Okay, I think I want to get like... I'm not exactly sure how I want this to go. <laughs> I guess this will be above a sink, so... Okay, we'll see. If I use the bowling ball swatch? Oh! <laughs> I mean, I, I guess we could use the bowling ball swatch. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I don't know if we'll do that or not. I think I might use some relatively plain cabinets and we'll get like a fun tile. I've got a vision, okay? You, you're gonna need to trust me a little bit with this, but I do have a vision. Should I sink it? I don't know. I'm not like a huge fan of all these different levels, but it's also kind of nice, I guess. Cause then the window fits perfectly. <laughs> That's the main reason is that the window fits perfectly. Okay. I think Maybe I'll go back to bowling. Cause the bowling pack, I don't know if I want to use this or not. That does sort of fit the orange vibes though. I'm kind of into it. If I sink it, I should put walls covering the sides of the counters. Oh no, that's going to make it so skinny. I'm okay with it being open. Do you really hate it? I thought it was cool. Half walls? Well, the half walls, they're just longer. The half, any wall you use, you guys, I don't think you understand what I mean by this. You put a wall there, the wall comes out deeper than 
the counter does. So there's less walking space. So that's kind of my concern with it, at least. We'll put a plant there or something. It'll it'll help. It'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, that's going to be lovely when it's done. Okay. Okay. Should we keep trying to do more of the windows everywhere or what? Also, I want to get rid of all that tile. I think I want to put like a pool or something out here. I don't really know yet. That's my initial thought. City living divider lines? Yeah, maybe. That's an idea. We'll have to, again, we'll come back to it because I'm trying to get like the whole place sort of figured out first before I make any final calls. <laughs> okay. Are you putting a spaceship in the center? You know, not in this one. I usually save my spaceships for exclusively not the not so berry challenge, I think. Unfortunately. <laughs> we tend to stick to the not so berry challenge with those spaceships. Sorry everybody. I don't know if I like that or not. We'll have to see. We shall have to see. Building anything for Halloween? Yeah, we will. We will build things for Halloween. I don't know exactly what yet, but we'll definitely do some Halloween builds. That will be very fun to do. Um... I'm not really that worried about how most of this looks from the sides. We'll get some pretty landscaping to help cover it up. Pumpkin shaped house for Halloween. You know, I, ha I have done that before. <laughs> I have done some pumpkin shaped houses for Halloween before. <laughs> and a ghost and all kinds, I've done all kinds of ridiculous things. <laughs> Jupiter, soft, Ava, Jody, bananas, thank you for the subs. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Let's start furnishing for real then because the windows are mainly around, so it should be fine. Have I done it with round walls so it's a 3D pumpkin? Oh my god. And we can we can think about renovating Vlad's house for Halloween. I need to, um, oh my god, I kind of hate that color of wood. Maybe I'll use it. I don't know if I've ever used that wood floor before. Okay. <laughs> Is this a house or a community lot? It's a house, it's a house. This is the one that belongs to the Rumi's household. You know, the one that has like Jay Huntington and Gavin and Zoe Patel and those people? Um, this is their house that we are doing right now. I kind of like that, to be honest. I was to say you love that color. Oh, that's so funny. I really, I don't like when floors are like kind of orangey toned, I don't think. That's what I've noticed. I, don't, I think I just don't like orangey toned wood that much. She says as she builds an orange house for her Sims. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if I, I don't think I like orange stuff all that much. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on this table yet. Maybe like, I guess that has some color to it. Would be cool if they have a coffee nook like the original house. Oh, Bessie, there's no space for that. There's no space for that, sorry. <laughs> Lola, uh, it's a Jupiter, it's soft, thank you for the subs. Okay. Okay, maybe, you know what I'll do? I wanted to build them their bar outside. Maybe I'll do that first before I get too far ahead. Everyone is really concerned about me deleting the bar inside the house, so we'll put it back, don't worry. Okay. Should I have like a corner piece? Uh, 
Oh, no, that's kind of strange. Maybe it should be like... No, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. Maybe I should just be plain and then I can get like regular cabinets, probably in a different color, but like regular cabinets along there. And then maybe a half wall and a grill in the back. I don't know. Okay. Grill. This will be fun. You could have like like a lot of cool space for parties here if we did it, if we had this. I don't. I like to put stuff like this in my builds for my Sims these days because I don't usually bother with having bars like at all <laughs> for them. Oh, that's kind of wider than I wanted it to be. Maybe like right there. Obviously, color will be different, but for now, that's a good. Maybe a good place to start, I don't know. And then we can get like an outdoor dining table and stuff. Orange swatch? Drew, the thing is... You see what I mean? The bar is, uh... It's gonna struggle. <laughs> it doesn't have the same colors as the counter. The counter has some more options. So... It's unfortunate. <laughs> it is very, very, very unfortunate. That's just kind of the way that it goes. We'll pick a fun color for those bar stools. I'm, I'm jumping around too much. I want to work on the interior a little more. I was just sort of trying to think about layout outside, but I want to work on the inside first. Avocado bathroom to match the bar. Yeah, we can do a fun color in the bathroom. I think I would like that. Okay. Thoughts on this little cabinet? That's such a strange looking cabinet. It's kind of like not good. Maybe we could try and use that. I don't know. Okay. Okay, that could be fun for color. Doesn't really match what we have so far, but. Yeah, the way the dishes were kind of just lined up like in an exact little row is kind of weird, right? I think sized up is too big. Struggling with this. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Oh, I could probably, you know what I could do is get away with just one by having the curtain seem bigger. Okay. We can just pull the curtain off a little bit. And that will trick it into seeming like it fits on the wall better. See everyone? That's fine. Uh, it's fine. Cute. Okay. Have I saved the game? Yeah, I saved like two seconds ago, Tilly. There was, everybody was spamming for me to save and I was ignoring them because I just saved a second ago, but I'll do it again. <laughs> I know that's a bad habit of mine, but in my head I was like, I just did. So I wasn't gonna. Anyway. Anyway. I think, honestly, like a little, oops, oh, my display capture on, sorry. A little like, this thing kind of has bench vibes a little. No, maybe I don't like that. Maybe I'll use a little table instead. Because we can put decorations on it if it's a table. Which is better. Oh my goodness. Put a mirror above the table. Well, you don't like the painting? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I picked the painting first, decided I liked it, and now they're saying get rid of it and put a mirror. It's so funny when you build things on stream, you literally get pulled in like a million directions. As soon as I decide that I'm comfortable and I like something, people are like, actually, that's kind of bad and you should change it. 
Oh my. Okay, I think that's kind of cute. Um, I might use that, and then I might get a little candle from the- I'm using a bunch of packs, I'm sorry. I just love this little candle so much. Okay. Cute. See, that's lovely. And then that painting gives us a good starting point for, like, color scheme stuff in here. We'll try and use that to dictate the style of the house. When the next Among Us stream is? No, Corey, we haven't- we usually do one about once a month. Obviously, we did one a couple days ago, so we don't have the next one scheduled yet. Uh, and we're kind of holding off on scheduling the next one until um, there's some more news about the new map. Because um, Among Us said that there's going to be a new map coming out in October, but they haven't said when in October yet. So we were kind of holding off on scheduling the next Among Us stream until after they say when the new map is coming, which I think makes sense. I think it's a good choice. We'll, we'll, we'll hold off and, and schedule it on purpose for the new map, so. Okay. Oh, you missed the last one? Oh no, yeah, we played we played Among Us on Tuesday. Uh, I'm sorry that you missed it. That makes me feel bad when people ask, like, when's the next one? And I have to be like, uh, two days ago. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of us are going to TwitchCon in the middle of October, so we have to- we'll figure it out once we're all... Okay. Um... I don't know. I'm kind of liking this. I think that some shelves might be cute on the other side. I also want to get kind of a fun tile. I know that I've been, oh no. With it being sunken like that, that's bad. <laughs> Cause it has like a little bit of the top, okay. Oh no. <laughs> We could use a fun... What do you think about those two things together? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, right? I think we can make this work. It matches the rug, so that's kind of the vibes. Maybe it was lighter. You guys, do you really hate it that much, everybody? I think there's- I think I like it. I'm just gonna keep it. You're gonna have to deal with it until it's uh, more finished, and then you're gonna like it, I promise, okay? I'm just gonna, I think, keep it for now, though. Maybe I'll give us, like, a popcorn machine or something fun. I don't know. I gotta stop letting, like, single comments get to my head, because I'm being silly. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Kayla. You can just put whatever. They'll understand once it gets better and or more finished. Hammer, poets, monkey, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, decorations, base game. Okay. I think I wanted to put some classics, like a paper towel and some- Do you not- am I being so silly? Where is the paper- there. Two of our favorite objects, the coffee maker and the popcorn machine. Yeah, exactly. All of our favorite stuff, right? <laughs> How about a cookie jar because of the new girl references? Okay, this- now is as good a time as any to make sure we're on the same page about this, you guys. I am a person who has seen, like, three episodes of New Girl ever in my life, okay? So while I, I love and respect all of your interests, and I'm so excited for you that this house, the townies were inspired by New Girl and stuff, um, I, I just need to remind you that this is not gonna become, like, like a New Girl house. Because I, as a person who has not seen it, really, I'm not prepared to accurately craft that sort of thing, okay? 
So if you wanted to make it into like a cool new girl house, that's something that you could do, but I haven't really seen it. So I don't know, I wouldn't know like references to set it up, so. Okay. Um, I wanna get a cute picture on this wall. Honestly, those little base game ones with like the pears, those are kind of cute. Maybe we could use that there. And we talked about open shelving, but I don't really, maybe I'll use cool kitchen. Oh. What is it under like wall decorations? That's so weird. That might be good though. Cause it has, I don't know. Does the coffee work like that? Um, I don't remember. I, uh, <laughs> here's the thing. I sort of put it there so the coffee wouldn't work. <laughs> um, I think that it will sometimes, depending on like where exactly it's placed, but, but that wasn't exactly my intention, so. Liz, Tracy, thank you for the subs. I prefer if my sims don't make coffee, usually, <laughs> to be honest. I know that sounds bad, but it's their fault. They're the ones that are weird about it. I think if you have it like really close to the edge, it'll work, but that kind of defeats the purpose of doing it. So I wouldn't do that if you want it to work. I would only do that if you want it to be cute. And if you also find coffee annoying in this game. <laughs> Okay, maybe like a little ottoman could be fun. Something kind of in the corner there. It comes in that color that you all don't like. I actually think this is kind of cute. I like it. Let's figure out the living room. All right, what's my favorite book? Oh my God, like ever? I don't know, I'm not, anytime someone asks me a question about my favorite thing of like anything, book, movie, show, song, song off an individual album, I, n I never have an answer for their question. I'm terrible. I, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I like so many different songs and books and movies and I can't, I'll, I'll tell you a different favorite every day. Like I'm so, I'm so bad with that. When people ask me, I never have an answer for them. I'm so bad. I'm too indecisive to pick like a favorite and then like announce it to the world for things. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't know. Does anybody else have that problem? It's just scary, hard to choose. And also as soon as someone asks you, all of a sudden I'm like, I can't think of a single book I've ever read. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Someone's like, favorite film? And I'm like, have I ever seen a movie? I don't know. <laughs> All of a sudden I've forgotten any movie I've ever seen. Yeah. Terrible. I'm terrible with it. Do you think I could size this up? Probably not. It's usually too big when you... Oh, this might actually be a good place for that to work. No, wrong thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is the blue and yellow that we had sort of before. Maybe I could make like an orange couch work. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God, that's so ugly. You guys, this is too much. Let me look at the bowling stuff. Cause there is a bowling, I think that I wanna use one of the bowling, um, what's it called? Coffee tables. Well, there's only one, but I think I wanna use it. I guess it doesn't come in the right color. It's a little bit light, but that might be okay. I don't know. Hey, Athena, thanks for the raid. We're renovating one of the base game uh, houses that comes with the, <laughs> with the base game. I was gonna say, we're renovating one of the base game houses that comes with the base game. <laughs> okay, Kayla. Really? That is a very uh, 
weird way of saying that, but anyway, I'm renovating one of the base game houses that comes with the base game right now. Uh, this is the, the roomies house in Oasis Springs, what we're trying to work on, so. <laughs> okay, maybe we can try and bring in orange, like, through other ways in here. I could try and bring some orange in with that. Maybe there could be like an orange accent chair. This rug might not work. I kind of want it to, but the rug might not work. It's so cute, but it's also like maybe not exactly right for this space. This is the one from the bowling stuff pack that we used in the other room. Oh God. Maybe I can make it work, I don't know. Get Famous has a nice rug too, but I always use it and it's also a little bit smaller. Um, I know you guys are recommending it, but I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, it's like significantly smaller. So it's sort of a different vibe than what I was originally picturing. Um, eh. This rug is from Dream Home Decorator, Shan. It's, uh, it is sized up, it's not normally that big. But that rug is from Dream Home Decorator. I think I like it being big. I think it being big is good. What if we got, speaking of Dream Home Decorator, what if we got them, like, some custom TV cabinet sort of thing? I don't know. But you can make it bigger, right? Well, so, Doof, this is the thing. Um, when you size rugs up, this is the same size as, like, a famous rug. Look at how big it gets when you size it up. You can't, you can't really. <laughs> so, like, yes, you can make it bigger, but also, no, you can't. This one, by default, is, is this small. It, they size up pretty dramatically um, when you size them up, so. We're stuck a little bit there. Oh, that is on the wall. That's so interesting. Okay, I wonder if we could do that and then like put some fake legs underneath it. Yeah, the tool mod can resize them um, a little bit more neatly, I suppose. But as you all know, I don't really use any mods, so. Okay, I'm gonna try and put some legs underneath each of these tables. You like it without legs? Oh, really? I thought it was a little bit high up. I don't know, maybe it's normal, I don't know. Um, raise up. Okay. Yeah, it hanging on the wall is kind of cool, and I guess kind of realistic, so. Oh, they don't snap together? I think it's because one's on the wall, and one is snapping to the floor, and this is a sunken room, so they're not attached. They would snap together, I think, if we weren't playing in this weird sunken room. But we are playing in a weird sunken room, so they aren't snapping together. <laughs> Everyone's been spamming about sectional sofas too, but I don't know if the colors are going to match that well. Do you see what I mean? With the sectional, like, the... It's not really the same vibe. So that's why I was kind of worried about using it. I'm actually, honestly, a little bit into the idea of this couch. Because this comes in like a sort of bright teal color. Maybe I'll do a little darker version. But that kind of matches. It maybe helps tie it together a bit more. I don't know. The light yellow sectional though. I don't know if I liked it. I don't know. 
We haven't really been using a lot of stuff like that in here, so. You guys are kind of scaring me. I'm never gonna be able to finish this. <laughs> this green's not really the vibes. Um, the yellow, I guess, could maybe work, but I don't think it looks good with the orange, so. I don't know. I think that I kind of like the couch that we have. I might try and stick with it. I might also try to get like a big bookshelf or something. The eco lifestyle one. I mean, there is the debug eco lifestyle one. The debug eco lifestyle one also comes in orange <laughs> if we wanted to use it. Uh, it does have like a, it does have like a nice wood accent on it, I guess. Does it even have a love seat though? I don't think that it does. No, we'd have to just use chairs instead of a love seat. You like the blue? Okay, we like the blue. We like the blue. <laughs> Get famous. I wanted to see about this. This is kind of small though, isn't it? This might be good for like a hallway somewhere. Maybe I can put it in here in this hallway and then we can get a bigger bookshelf for the rest of it. I don't know. This is a nice bookshelf though. I just think it's a little bit small. Maybe these are not really mid-century, are they? But these are an idea because they're kind of tileable and they have some interesting colors on them and we can get them in like a nice wood tone perhaps that might be nice dream home decorator bookshelf i don't think i want to use the dream home decorator one i feel like i always use the dream home decorator one I'm trying to think about other other options you know i think it fits this does not really fit. Oh, that's kind of funky. I kind of like that. Oh. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Let's think about like, I still haven't painted any walls either, have I? Yeah, I think it matches the room really nicely. So that's good. Maybe if we had some sort of, I guess I could use this little plant over here. I probably want to get a couple plants, I think. The rug doesn't match anymore. Um, everyone else says it pulls all the colors together. You're giving me a lot of conflicting information here. I thought it looked good together. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but I, I thought it was okay. It's hard. There's obviously, you can't really make it look exactly how we want it to be in our heads, right? We're playing The Sims 4. We don't have, we don't have all of the possibilities that we do in real life. We're kind of stuck to like, uh oh, sorry, yawning. We're kind of stuck to like the swatches that they have by default and they're not always the best. So that's just kind of how it's going to have to be. I don't like that. Maybe I should get windows on either side of it. I don't really know what I want. I'm just trying to think about like some options to have this be, I don't like it. You feel like a yellow chair would better with the rug than the orange? Well, we're not trying to match the rug though, Kat. We're trying to match the rest of the house and the rest of the house has orange everywhere. So we're trying to bring in the orange. We, we can acknowledge that the, the orange chair and the rug don't match each other right now. <laughs> we all have eyes, okay? We're, we're just trying to do our best to fit these things together, okay? Um, we're, we're trying to add in some details and, and fit it together to the best of our abilities because we want it to match the rest of the space. Okay, maybe if we got like some little clutter. This little guy will bring in some yellow. 
The cat is fun because that brings in some orange. We can do some orange little like candles too, maybe. Maybe I'll put them on that. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. These bookshelves are from Growing Together, by the way. Uh, they're, they're nice ones. Some of my favorite bookshelves we've ever gotten in the game. It needs teal too, but in the bookshelf? Yeah, we'll add some stuff. We'll add some stuff. Dream home decorator. That's cute. Should it be yellow? I guess that does bring in some of the yellow. Okay. That's a fire hazard right there. What, the candles? They're not lit though, so it's fine. <laughs> They're purely decorative, it's okay. Just don't light them. <laughs> oh, the record player would be fun if we could fit it. That's true, I would like that. This is what I was talking about. I wanted the one from Get Famous, but that's an idea also. Get Famous. They're battery operated candles. That's what we always say. Oh, they're, don't worry. They're just battery operated candles. It's fine. They're just battery operated. <laughs> it's okay. They probably wouldn't have any awards, would they? Definitely not a giant toilet. Sometimes I just see things and get excited. Okay, um, what was I trying to get? Oh, the record player, that's right. This would be so cute to have in the living space somewhere. There's just not a lot of room for it. Well, maybe I don't need to have this extra couch. We could limit the couch a little bit and we could put this over here by the windows. Maybe. That's what we need is less seating. <laughs> less seating is the way. Some poofs instead of the couch. Yeah, we could try and put some poofs. That's a cute idea. Because then they could drag them around, hypothetically. It's The Sims 4, so you can't really do that. <laughs> but in real life, hypothetically, you would be able to do that. There's the ones... Oh, you know what? It might be kind of fun to use the... Oh, the niche knitting ones don't really look good. Never mind, sorry. False alarm. This one has a face on it, and I don't really want it to. I might have to use the tiny living one. There are actually tables in tiny living, believe it or not. But that's okay, because they look like little seats. They just don't happen to function like them. That would match the... You know what? We could try and bring in some color and pattern that way. I know there's a lot of pattern happening, but I think that's okay. I think pattern is kind of the goal here, so it should be fine. More is good. It's all very, it's all very chaotic and fun in here, so. High school years poofs. Well, I kind of like those because we have them matching this tiny living one. It matches the pillow this way. I wonder if I should get another chair or if I should stick to just the one. I can't tell if the two orange chairs is too much. I think the extra chair is kind of fun. I Oh god, I deleted the whole thing. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. I was gonna get one extra window over here, I think. As a person that loves orange, there's never enough. Okay, that's good that you like orange, because orange is one of my least favorite colors. <laughs> so I'm glad that you think it's good. <laughs> yeah, I wish that we could change out the pillows, because it would be cute if we could have, like, two different patterned pillows on both of those. I think that would be kind of fun. Oh well. 
Welcome to The Sims 4. <laughs> we don't have those sort of options, do we? Tree home decorator, maybe this little thing could be cute. This has like kind of sunset vibes. That has some orange to it. Use the new pillow to cover one up. I don't know, the new pillow, I don't, I wish that it had more swatches. I like the idea of the new pillow a lot, like a lot, a lot. But the swatches are, in my opinion, not good for this. It's also too, I don't know if you can tell, but it's too small. It's like smaller than the pillow is there. So it's like good idea in theory, but it doesn't really work in practice. We could potentially put a pillow on here if we wanted. Of course it doesn't come in the right colors. I don't know, I don't think it's worth it. It has like more neutrals. It's not really the right, the right vibe, I guess. So I don't think I'll use it. It's okay though, maybe another time. And now they've made one of those pillows, I wouldn't be surprised if we got more in like, or at least one more or something in like the next pack because I feel like they, they sort of have a tendency to do that where like they'll give us one thing that we asked for loads. Like for example, this uh, standing upright piano, we got it growing together and then we got another one in Horse Ranch. So I wouldn't be surprised if we started getting some more options like that now that we actually have um, the the pillow concept in game. Maybe I could raise this up and put it like kind of on there. Yeah, or like the curtain rod thing, yeah. The sloth painting above the desk. Do you think I should use it again? just in like a different color. I think it might be, I think that might actually be too much in here, which I know is really saying something because <laughs> it's there's a lot of color happening. But I think it might be too much. We could probably put it over here. Above this little chapel or little chair thing. Unsure. I am unsure about this. Maybe I'll try and paint the walls quickly. I want to look at some of the bowling night stuff again because the bowling pack actually has, I think, some kind of fun options. Like this sort of wall, that sort of, I don't want to use it next to the tile because it's like the same style as the tile, but I think that's a fun little nod to the kitchen tile to use like some similar paneling elsewhere, right? Okay, we can't really, it looks bad on the edge, but that's okay. But wouldn't that be cool, maybe? Yeah, Melissa, this is the roomies house. So you know like Zoe Patel and Jay Huntington and them, um, That's this is where they live. They're, it's one of the base game houses in Oasis Springs. That's what we're working on. We started today working on the Spencer Kim Lewis house. And then I gave up and we have moved here. So things are not going that well, actually, to be completely honest with you. It's been a, it's been a long day. I like the idea of a little shoe rack and I like the idea of a little doormat too. Not gave up, just changed. Yeah, we changed direction. We didn't give up. We just changed direction to something a little different and less uh, horrible because it was cursed. It was cursed and bad. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what to put in this little entryway. I feel like it's kind of a random. That's true. The struggle with that is why we have ended up here and I think we're doing a lot better here. So maybe it was worth it. I want to try and get some fun patterns. Maybe we could use like, I don't know. That's so bad. <laughs> I want to use something kind of funky though on this wall. I think that would be cool. Of course, these only come in like green. Why does it only have three swatches? I 
I don't think the yellow is good enough. And that has like not the right colors. And that's, I think, too green. Why are you doing this to me, game? There's like a distinct lack of orange in that. Maybe I'll just do this. Maybe I could find an art sort of thing that's orange. Ghost wall. God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if... Um, <laughs> I'm not sure that that is a good idea. That's the nicest way we can try and put this. That's kind of like funky and fun, maybe. Perhaps I could do something different here. Filter by orange and wallpapers. No, I am, guys, I am extremely familiar with anything orange because I just finished the orange generation of Not So Berry. There, the only thing that I would potentially even consider using is the ghost wall. And I don't think that I should. I don't think that I should. I kind of like this, actually. Maybe I could put shelves. Oh, you know what we could get? Maybe, I was trying to think of something that would work like this, but actually Eco Lifestyle has a lot of good stuff. Eco Lifestyle might have like a little wall shelf surface thing. I don't know about that one. I was kind of thinking about one of the bookshelf type things. Because I feel like we can't really fit, I don't want to put like conflicting art. But this has some kind of interesting, that's a cute color too. Oh, the basement kit photo. Oh my goodness, that's a good idea. Because look, in the basement treasures kit, we have this little picture. I don't know about it going in the living room because there's not a lot of space for it, but we can maybe put it up there to be honest, like try and rest it on this or something. But look, it's got a picture of them as children. It's supposed to be like them when they were little. It's those Sims aged down. So that's like a super cute little thing to add in, I think. We should try and put that on a wall where it's more of a focal point maybe. Maybe I'll use it multiple times. They're like best friends forever. It's kind of adorable. Yeah, I like how they did that. I, that actually means a lot to me, the Sims team. I know it sounds really dumb, but it's really cute for them to like go back and adding in like little tiny bits, even like the smallest bit of base game lore is so fun for me. Yeah, maybe everyone could have a copy in their bedroom. That could be cute, Christine. I think I like that idea. It's just, it's just fun. I like it. Let me look at more Get Famous stuff. Cause Get Famous has a handful more like sort of mid-century-ish looking furniture that might be decent. Maybe I won't have a door here and we can have it be windows. So I can use some more of the Get Famous furniture. So we do have a door on the side. We don't necessarily need to have another one right here. It would be cute, but it's not like urgent. This is not where Summer Holiday lives, no. It's um, this is where uh, like Zoe Patel and Jay Huntington live. So the other set of roommate townies. You're thinking Zoe Patel is in the base game one. No, no, Zoe Patel is here. Summer Holiday, who you're talking about, is in the, the Willow Creek one. This is the Oasis Springs one. Oh, the little record player could be cute. That might be a fun addition. Oh, it doesn't... Of course it doesn't slot on here. Why would it? That would just make too much sense, wouldn't it? Why would I want it to do that? Don't be silly. Okay. Does it slot onto this, maybe? Oh my god, I don't like you. I don't think I can do it. Is it better if it's clipping in a little or it floating? 
thought Jay lives in a mansion. No, Jay lives with, Jay lives with his roommates. Um, here in, here in Oasis Springs. It's, it's alternating. Chat is saying flipping and, uh, clipping and floating. And they're sort of alternating, so I don't know what to do. This is putting me in an, in an uncomfortable situation. <laughs> I don't know what's best. Oh, I think, I think for me, it's better for it to be floating. Because if it's floating a tiny bit, you can only see that from certain angles. But if it's clipping, you'll see it from all angles. So I, I feel like I'm leaning towards letting it flow a little. We have the Get Famous record player. We're putting both, actually. We're putting both. I'm just trying to find some more fun details that we can add in. But yeah, I think it's better for it to float, because you only see that it's floating from, like, low down, so... I think it's okay. All right. Um, we need some sort of like basement clutter records box. Oh, we do have that. I just deleted my record player. Okay. You know what, guys? I've changed my mind. It's gonna do that repeatedly throughout the entire rest of the build, so I'm not doing that. I'm simply not doing that. It's, it's just not gonna happen. It was cute, but the game has chosen its fate. This is a into the moodlit lamp. I don't know. What about the like Lindsay smart speaker? We can go for like slightly more modern. We'll get an Alexa. <laughs> that could be something. We might be onto something there. Okay. Lava lamp, very 70s. I don't know. I feel like this one might be more realistic than the lava lamp. I've also already placed it, so. <laughs> maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll get the phone key and keys. Um, everyday clutter. There we go. They only have one phone and one set of keys throughout this entire four sim household, apparently. Yeah, we can put a lava lamp in a bedroom. I'll totally do that. I would like that. Okay, I'm probably gonna use not only white on these walls. I'm just painting them white for now, so I have like a good starting point. Um, these will not be all that tile either, but we'll put it there as a starting point again. Maybe if there was like some, I don't, maybe I'll just paint it a color. The lava lamps come with Strangerville, by the way. I saw some people asking what pack has lava lamps. You might not believe it, but Strangerville. <laughs> Strangerville is the answer. Could I try stone on the pillars? I don't think I'm trying to make an actual accurate 70s house though, Green. I think I'm trying to make a sort of funky, inspired by, but modern house, I think. So I don't know. Is there an intercom system in game? No, I don't think so. That would be kind of funny though, wouldn't it? Charlie, I only did the Spencer Kim thing for like, mm, honestly, maybe 15 minutes. The Spencer Kim thing was very, very short lived. <laughs> we, um, we did not spend that much time on that today. I very quickly decided that it was not for me and I allowed myself to move on. Definitely a rug in the entry. You think like a main one instead of just the doormat? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like the entry being a little open. Base game. There's a chimney, but no fireplace. 
Oh boy. <laughs> yes. And I'm not gonna add in a fireplace. Um, the house originally had a chimney, so I kept it. Um, I do this a lot. You can imagine for a second, okay, let's put our pretending hats on. Um, we're gonna pretend that the house has been renovated, okay? And originally, originally there was a fireplace, but it was like super old and broken, so they had to take the fireplace out, and they weren't gonna like change the exterior of the house to remove the chimney, so they walled it up, and, and the chimney is still there, but the fireplace is non-functional. In fact, I don't even think that's unreasonable. <laughs> They had to fill it up because it wasn't up to code. Yeah, see, that's all. That was what happened. <laughs> okay. What was the thing to put in the room next to the kitchen? Oh, this is gonna be a big bathroom. There's two bathrooms. There's gonna be one small one and one big one. And then these are each of their four bedrooms. Okay. You live in a duplex and they block the chimney? Yeah, I think that happens in a lot of older houses. Um, maybe not necessarily for the best, uh, but I, I do think that it happens a lot in older houses where they'll block up the chimney. Probably because there's, like, something going on and it's, um, non-functional. This is cute. I suppose I didn't, it's too late to use it, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> bathroom would be nice for an ensuite. Well, okay, so here's my thing. I don't want to give them an ensuite bathroom because there's four sims living here and only one of them would be able to have a fancy attached bathroom. So I'm looking for, I've been looking for this for like so long. I was looking for it earlier too. There's like a little corner item. Maybe I'll look under surfaces. I don't, I don't think it is surfaces though. You know a little corner thing from, what is that? Just a pedestal? Maybe it's under decorations. It's in statues. Aha, that's what I wanted. I've been trying to find this for so long. <laughs> I wanted that. Anyway, I don't wanna have just one of them have a, uh, have a fancy attached bathroom. So I think I'll make them uh, suffer and have this giant bathroom be shared amongst multiple Sims. Okay, I'm gonna actually scoot this cause I didn't realize that it was clipping in the wall so much. Okay, in the show they share. Yeah, see? <laughs> no, again, we're not copying the show just so we're on the same page. Let's not have everybody going and getting excited. This, it, this household, the Sims team may have made them and been inspired by New Girl. I am a person who's never seen New Girl, so <laughs> let's keep it in mind, okay? <laughs> um, maybe we could get a nice fancy shower. This is a really big bathroom. Did I hear new girl house? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is um this household, these four Sims, uh, when the Sims team made them, they were inspired by new girl. I am simply renovating a base game family's house. <laughs> I've never seen new girl. I don't want anyone to get their hopes up. It's we're not making like a new girl build, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm, I'm not capable of, of, uh, making an accurate to the show building as a person who's never seen it, so I just want to make sure we keep our expectations low. Okay. That is honestly horrendous in, like, my opinion in the best way possible. So... Why do you have to be lighting it like that? I don't know. No floor to ceiling windows from the courtyard into the bathroom? You know, no, I actually wasn't thinking about doing that. Yeah, I think it's fun for them to have laundry and I don't have to use it because I'm not gonna be the one playing in this house, so they can have laundry. I think realistically, it would probably be nice to have like one full big mirror like these but maybe I'll do a smaller one on purpose. You think an all white tub swatch would look nice? Oh, that's what I thought I had clicked on. <laughs> I didn't know it wasn't. Oh boy. Okay. 
it's really funny to me when people are like so gentle about them saying that the thing is ugly. They're like, oh, you know, Kayla, what if, what if you change the tub swatch? Maybe like if it were all white, it would look better. <laughs> Trying to be so nice about how the tub was bad. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I did. I thought it was all white, so. Okay. Um, how about a little toilet? Oh, oh, weird. This is kind of. Oh, it's it's way preferred to people saying like the tub is ugly, change it. <laughs> so, I'm I'm uh, saying this in a way that is grateful <laughs> because I'm used to seeing some nasty things in my Twitch chat. <laughs> okay. Half walls, you think? I don't know if I would put one. It's it's weird, isn't it? Packs. Tiny living, tiny living, tiny living, tiny living. I scrolled past it. There we go. Tiny living has some nice little decor that we can use. Maybe I'll put it. I don't know. I guess it being over here is kind of nice, right? In a sort of realistic way. This place is weird. I'm struggling with it. No, no, no. I don't know if I can use a bath mat. All the bath mats are going to be ugly too. Let's get them. How funny would it be? Maybe this is too weird. But what if we had a bunch of bathrobes? They could each have one bathrobe and we can try and like color coordinate it to what their bedrooms will look like. Potentially, maybe. Do they have uh, favorite color preferences? Probably not. Right? Likes funny Sims, okay. Well, we can give Zoe yellow. Mitchell can have like, oh, maybe Zoe can have pink. So we can have pink, we can do like maybe a green there could probably be a blue and maybe a yellow this green's bad though they can have kind of pastel colors except they don't really have pastel colors maybe they have to have this it's okay that's okay i want to get like you think i should have red oh eh, i don't like the colors on them you love that green? I like the green too. I just don't like it up against the wallpaper. <laughs> Let's be clear. It's just the wallpaper that is the problem. <laughs> um, I would like to have a couple laundry baskets in here also. They only had so many colors at Kmart, exactly. When they were trying to buy it, they didn't have too many options at the store, so they did what they could. We picked as many as we could. Okay. Um, maybe above the toilet, there could be just a little cabinet. That could be cute, right? Haven't thought about Kmart in so long. Yeah, I haven't really thought about Kmart in a while either. Did Kmart go out of business? Is Kmart okay? I feel like I feel like I remember hearing that Kmart is not okay. Oh no, Kmart. Well, that's sad. I have never. I I don't know. There wasn't a Kmart near me growing up, so. I went to it like near my grandma's house sometimes, but <laughs> I've never been to a Kmart here really. Some locations still did close, but they're still kind of open. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I guess we didn't have a Kmart in the first place here, so I wouldn't really know. <laughs> 
I'm I'm not familiar with uh, what Kmart's been up to. I guess. <laughs> Just got back and I hear, is Kmart okay? <laughs> yeah, it's a serious question. We're, we're worried about them. Okay, there's like a million Sims living here. So realistically, it might be cute if they had multiple little sets of toothbrushes. I want bathroom clutter, okay. That's technically only three toothbrushes. So maybe I could like... <laughs> what do you guys think about that? Is that too many? They're kind of like sitting weird too, but I don't really mind. Electric toothbrush? Oh, I guess I, we could use that. I don't normally use it. That might be a better... There's only four Kmarts left in the USA. Oh, really? Oh, that's worse than I thought. Oh, Kmart. Goodbye, Kmart. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's Jay Huntington's toothbrush. I feel like he'd probably have an electric toothbrush. Why is it so big? That means size down to be more similar. And so that makes way more sense size down. That's like the size of the other toothbrushes now. Before it was huge. That was ridiculous. Did you see that? I haven't really been using that electric toothbrush. I don't know if I've ever used it in one of my, in one of my builds, to be honest. I don't know if I really messed with it. It was giant. Okay, this is probably good enough though for the main bathroom. We do have one other bathroom. <laughs> and I went and I decorated that bathroom like all four of them are using it, but that's okay. We can still use this one and make it cute. Oh, I haven't saved in a bit. Good call. <laughs> Devin, Philip, Precious, thank you for the subs. Uh-oh. Grab this toilet. This is the guest bathroom, sure. No, they'll, they'll use this one too. It's, I don't know. When you've got this many Sims, we just need to make sure there's plenty of, plenty of uh, bathroom access. Needs a fire toilet? Oh, that would be lovely. Okay. Probably just in white, I guess. Uh, I'll get a toilet paper roll. And then maybe I'll get some cute towels. Of course they don't come in orange, because why would they? That would just make too much sense. Uh, this game causes me like genuine stress sometimes when these sorts of things happen. Like I don't really have, I'm not asking for much. You know? But still, The Sims does not give me all the things I want. The Seasons one has orange. Yeah, but I don't like the Seasons one. The orange swatch on this is like, in my humble opinion, both shades are kind of icky. I don't really want to use it, but if I have to, I will. I had to use that in my not so berry builds. Like I said, I, I just finished a lot of building orange things because I finished the orange gen of not so very so um, we're unfortunately very familiar with it okay do you guys want to go work on the outside then and then we'll do the bedrooms last let's start thinking about color scheme then on the outside because we haven't done that at all yet okay Cute. So I was thinking about maybe using a metal roof. I don't know if I want it to be like a funky color. I don't think I do. <laughs> Instantly, no. <laughs> Immediately, no. Um, I don't know if I want to use like a cool brick. If I want it to be like a fun... I don't know. I just... 
There's not a lot of color accent out here either for us. You think orange roof? That's like really brave. It's not the same color orange. Maybe we could try and do some landscaping to start us off. And then we could go from there. Because then we can try and get like some more color and detail and stuff in. I was thinking about putting like this little fence just to have some th something more like interesting in the front. I might also use, uh, I hate to say it, but from the perfect patio stuff pack, I might also use that fence because I feel like that fence makes way more sense than this one does. So we'll swap it all out. Oh, weird. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Fence gate. Cool. Um. Uh. We need to get like so much orange, I think. The house is very wide too. Probably in a bad way. So, oh, these are kind of fun. Not really the right shade of orange though, huh? Okay, I don't know. Some debug landscaping might be good also. Show live edit objects. Maybe we can get like some of those debug bushes. Um, maybe from get together. I was thinking about these, but that doesn't really match the ones out there, does it? Maybe the horse ranch ones will match better. Because horse ranch has one of those bushes too. They keep using the same bush <laughs> in like all the worlds. It comes in like everyone's debug. That's okay, though. Well, in a shocking turn of events, it's like jumping to the wrong height because it's jumping too low because this is sunken. That's so weird. That's okay. This will help. All right. Maybe some of you. Some over there. I don't know. Hey, Sleep Deprived, thank you for the five gifted subs and the sub from yourself, thank you so much. Uh, Shay and Devin, thank you for the subs also. Okay. Don't know if I wanna do this with the gravel anymore, now that I think about it. Teal bricks. Yeah, okay, so let me walk you through one of the ideas that I had. I don't know if I want to paint the whole place with teal brick, because I'm worried about that being too much. But maybe we could get, like, a small section of landscaping in the front, and we could, like, surround this little planter box with some teal brick. Or I guess this could maybe be orange and more of the house could be teal. That's an option too. That's so ugly. Wrong shade of orange. There's nothing that's gonna work. It has to be, I think, plain. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It could glow. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I was kidding. I was so kidding. Okay, um... Maybe I'll make this smaller. Less dramatic that way. Just a subtle little detail. Okay, Uncharted Big for the two months also. Oh my goodness. 
I think... Oh, we also have, like, the green. That's something to keep in mind, is we have green in the back. There's gonna be, like, color everywhere. I'm not really sure what's the best thing to do. Move this a little, too. Ghost wallpaper. Oh, okay. That's the best thing to do. By far. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> Duh. Maybe, how about this? This is just an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. But what if we built, like, another planter box? Same thing. Same sort of vibes. But we put it here. To sort of, like, surround the front entry and then we could put some more plants in there that might be cool and then we can get a tree or something I don't know which one we'll see <laughs> the ghost wallpaper is way too obvious a choice yeah I just you know I use the ghost wallpaper so much we should try and branch out and use something more, you know, <laughs> something different, more exciting than ghosts, because it's just too generic, right? <laughs> Jam, girly, thank you both for the subs. Jesse too, thank you. Oh. Okay. Pull this out a little. Let's try some of that painted brick then that we've talked about. There is, like, this brick, I use this a lot on these, like, sort of mid-century houses that I'm trying to build um, doesn't mean it's good it just means that I use it a lot okay <laughs> but that maybe could be an option for like the main shape and then we could try and use a different color like something sort of contrasting on the other side perhaps I wish that this was a slightly brighter orange. I don't think there is an orange fence though. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. Just by the way, that was a joke. Yikes. Oh, the roof is terrible. I don't know what to use on the roof either. Maybe the default stuff. I feel like the black is kind of boring, though. Let me look at some of the eco lifestyle stuff. I wonder if we could use like, do you think the other half should be white? And then we try and add an orange with the flowers. Gravel roof? Yeah, I mean, a gravel roof is also an idea. Can you even put gravel on the on this texture, though? I don't think that you can. Oh, we do have gravel options. I don't think that looks good. Doesn't help the lighting is always bad. You think if gravel roof the side needs to be colorful? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let me put a flat roof texture on this. I might try and get well, I was gonna use gravel on the flat part originally. I wasn't gonna do it on the rest of the building. I was gonna do gravel on just the flat roof sections um, and then pair it with something else on the rest. And I think that I might wanna go back to that because I'm not really, oh my God, it looks so bad. Everything about it looks bad. There's like so much roof happening. What if it was just plain black? Is that better?
Maybe I could try and get a handful of solar panels too. That might help us get some more colorful vibes going on. Of course it doesn't come in orange, because why would it? I could do green. <laughs> the green might be a little bit much. Why are all the options so bad? I don't think I like them. Can I come back to the roof? Do you want to try and figure out some of the other shapes and then like revisit the roof once we've had some more stuff figured out? Because I'm feeling a little bit like this is not going well. I don't know. Oh, my wrist just cracked. Sorry if you could hear that. You probably could. That's gross. <laughs> Ew. No, we'll just come back to it. Um, let me look at some more of the orange things. Did I build this? Um, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> this is the default roomies house. You know this lot in Oasis Springs where like Zoe Patel lives? Um, I'm renovating the default roomies house. Hey, Quok and Lene, thank you for the resubs. It's, it, this is extremely different from how it was originally, so. We may as well have built it from scratch, to be honest. <laughs> but we did have we did have that as the starting point, so. Okay, you know what? Tree? Helpful. Genuinely. That's like a good start. Because it helps to like break it up. Can I change the time of day, maybe? Is there any time of day that is better? Hmm. No, not really. Well. <laughs> well, Opal, thanks for the prime sub. And Sleep Deprived, thank you for the five gifted subs again. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so generous. Okay, well, I don't like that. What do you all suggest we do? I do think that this wouldn't be terrible. I just wish that there was like a little bit more size variation, I guess. Orange flowers are gonna help us though. I just have to decide which ones we want. Cause there's a variety of options. More colors of that, like yellow. Oh, this has some weird swatches. The, the stems get kind of weird. Yeah, I have come around to using that alien flower a lot more. I used to be extremely anti that alien flower, but I've, um, I've really grown as a person <laughs> and I've come around to using it more, so. Yeah, we have like cactus type stuff that we could use. I don't know if I want to though is the problem. You feel like orange and red flowers would look good? I don't really want to do red. I'm okay with orange, but I don't know about red. Yeah, I really used to hate that flower though. The one I had in the front. Okay. That might be nice. Um... Do you think that them on the gravel is bad and that's part of the problem or what? This part is also a problem. There needs to be something there. But I just, I kind of liked the gravel because it matched the inside of this. I don't know. What made you hate the alien flower? I, I don't think anything in particular made me hate it. I just didn't like it. 
I don't think there was a reason. I just didn't think it, I just didn't like it that much. It has a lot of weird swatches in my defense. That's, that's probably the main thing is the swatches, I guess. Um, maybe it would be good if there was like some grass or something or some sort of additional flower to help fill in the gravel. Maybe that would be nice. Some plants that way. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll just use that horse ranch debug thing multiple times. Um, debug, 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 debug. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Everything's fine, it's gonna be fine. This is like way harder than I thought it was going to be. All those people earlier who were like, that's too easy, don't do that build. I'd love to see you try. Do you regret it yet? This is actually the second time recently that I've tried to renovate this lot too, because I literally had to give up. I stressed myself out so much that I had to give up on this. That was like, I don't know, that was maybe a year ago at this point. It's been a while to be honest, but this build is not for the faint of heart. Oops. Um. That looks really weird. I raised it up because I was hoping that if I put like the other flowers under it, you wouldn't be able to tell. Wasn't this a house for Not So Berry too? No, we didn't use this house for Not So Berry. I, I uh, built something kind of similar though, because it was like a mid-century house that had a hole in the middle. <laughs> uh, but I, I didn't use this house and I didn't renovate this house for Not So Berry. It was a completely different build that I used for Not So Berry. Um, similar vibes a little bit, but very different. But we had a, it was like a way bigger hole in the middle and it had a rocket ship in the inside. That was the that was the idea behind it <laughs> is that we wanted to have the rocket ship in the middle. So, it was worth it. It was pretty cool, I think. That was for the yellow generation, not so very. I guess that's the other thing. It was it was yellow on the inside. So that's the other difference. Everything was yellow. And I, when I say everything, I mean everything was yellow <laughs> on that one. That's kind of how not so very goes. When you do a not so berry build, everything is all one color. <laughs> Can I copy this? No, because it's not a room. Go away. I'm gonna try and do something very similar to it over here. We'll try to like fill it in and have a little bit more landscaping back this way. Oh, this might be a good way for me to extend this out because then I could put some lounge chairs over here. Oh, that'll be good. Lounge chairs. This is Oasis Springs Plum that we're in right now. Uh, geez, Talia, thank you for the subs. Danielle, who just got engaged, congratulations. That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. That is such, such, such amazing news. Um, oh, this is good. That has kind of like the right, oh, it's, I guess it's like the wrong pattern though, huh? What do you guys think about using grilled cheese chair? <laughs> I actually kind of like it. I think it's good. Okay, grilled cheese chair. I don't know if I've ever used that grilled cheese chair. <laughs> that might that might genuinely be the first time I've done that. Oh my, <laughs> sleep deprived, thank you for the gift of subs again. Thank you so much, by the way. That was very generous of you. I know I'm, I that is amazing. Okay, let's see, horse ranch. 
grilled cheese chair is so 2014 base game coded. And you know what the funniest part is? That grilled cheese chair didn't come out with the base game when it first came out. The grilled cheese chair came out when they added, um, they did like a little backyard patio base game update. Um, and we got a couple things and that was one of them. We didn't have lounge chairs in the base game before that. Where's my plant? It's over here, sorry everyone. That was my bad. <laughs> I was kind of looking in the wrong place for my plant. Okay, she's saying grilled cheese chair, not hair. Yeah, I'm saying chair, this grilled cheese. Can I add two extra grilled cheese chairs? Oh, I guess I maybe I should have four. Cause then they can all sit by the pool together. You're right. You're right. Why orange and green? Why do you ask? Cause you hate it? Inspired by this rug. And a lot of the stuff from the bowling stuff pack. That's why. Why not? a little bit different than what I normally go for, so. Okay, maybe I should do, instead of the lime green, just for the sake of the build. Oh my God, that's absolutely horrendous. Never mind. I was gonna say I could try and use something a little bit more simple, but maybe, the, is this better? Neither matches the, neither matches the what's it called perfectly. The walls. People are gonna hate this. Maybe orange? No, so it can't be orange. That's what this orange swatch looks like. You don't want it to be orange. You might think you want it to be orange, but you don't want it to be orange. I'm telling you this now to save you pain. You don't want it to be orange. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we could get some more windows for this room because there's not much over here. They had a garden before, didn't they? You like the lime green because it's awful. Okay, that's that's what that's the kind of stuff that we need to hear. I'll keep the lime green then. I also kind of like the lime green because it's awful, so. Maybe wait, maybe I'll do like four planter boxes together instead of them in a row. I think I like that better. Okay, I want to have, I don't, I don't like the palm tree. I don't like the palm tree. I guess they've been using this little item, which I hadn't really considered. I wonder if I could get a couple of those kind of sized up in the front with a rock or something as a last minute little touch. Okay, I've decided I don't like this anymore. Maybe I'll get a bench there. You like the orange? It feels like I'm looking at a box of highlighters. <laughs> I, I think that the orange is tastefully ugly. And I, I really mean that in a nice way. Like, I think that the orange is is kind of bad in a way that is good. So. I like it. Genuinely, I like it a lot. Thank you for calling it a highlighter. That's beautiful. It's a very generous way of putting it, to be honest. Um, I'll probably do some of the same planter boxes around the back and sides like we had up front. And then that could be most of the landscaping done. Their bedrooms are probably going to take me a while. I'm wondering if- I don't know if we're going to finish this today. That's okay. We got plenty of time. The orange door is good though? Okay, that makes me feel- that makes me feel good about it also. Um, take this, we'll fill these in. You feel like they deserve a cat? Yeah, people were saying that earlier. That's because in New World, they have a cat, right? 
right? I've never, again, not seen New Girl. I'm just basing it off The Sims and what The Sims have. But that is that would be cute, I guess. It's too late, though. It's too late. That looks honestly horrible. <laughs> I hate the shade of orange. This shade of orange genuinely, I think, is so ugly. It's okay, though. They, they'll deal with it. They can put up with it. All right. Is that like established lore that I missed? What with the new girl stuff? Yeah, this house, or this household, sorry. Uh, these Sims are literally inspired by new girl, like the Jay Huntington and, and Zoe Patel and, and everyone um, loosely based and, and inspired by new girl. That's like a real true fact, so. Um, horse ranch. Yeah, if you read their description, I think their description kind of implies it a little bit extra too, doesn't it? Uh, easy thing to miss, because like, how how would you know, right? <laughs> uh, and it is a loose, loose base, but that is, that is true. You're a flop simmer? No, you're not a flop simmer for not knowing that. How would you have known? Nothing wrong with not knowing that. It's so wild to think that Zoe Deschanel is engaged with Property Brother. I know, right? Honestly, incredibly happy for them. I uh, always loved the Property Brothers when I was younger. I was a big fan of the Property Brothers. I'm not kidding. I like genuinely liked them a lot, so. <laughs> she is, yeah. I unfortunately don't know which one. So sorry to the Property Brothers. I know I just said I was a fan of yours. I don't know which one she's engaged to, but she is engaged to one of them. Can't tell you which. Jonathan? Sure. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. It is Jonathan. I've seen more than one person say it. Good for him. Okay. Last little bit of debug landscaping, I swear. Who are these people? <laughs> um, the Property Brothers. They're twins that uh, renovate houses and stuff on TV. And they're really tall. And I think they have a third brother who's not one of the twins and is not officially a property brother, which is sad for him. Okay, that's really bothering me, but I'm gonna ignore it, okay? So are you. Um, anyway, if you haven't seen the Property Brothers show, it's pretty good, I and mean, you, you should probably watch it, I don't know. <laughs> you might like it, I guess. All right, I'm gonna stick the trash cans kind of right here, and maybe I will put No, I was gonna put like a privacy fence or something, but I won't. They can just have them like that. Okay, Mr. Crinkle Top, Rosa, Doodles, thank you for the subs, everybody. I feel good about this. You like how the outdoor umbrella looks like a grilled cheese and matches the vibes? <laughs> That's so funny. It kind of does. It kind of does. Okay, I want them to have a ceiling fan above this. I think that would be super nice. And then we can get them some lights too. Hmm. Outdoor lights, maybe? Anyway, I always, when I was a child, I was like genuinely obsessed with all the shows on HGTV. Like, I'm not exaggerating, obsessed. So uh, I I was a big fan of theirs. Even if I don't remember who's who, I still was, I, I swear I was a big fan. <laughs> I would watch, I would watch the, the HGTV shows like constantly, just always on the TV. And now I build houses in The Sims. Yeah, strange how those sorts of interests overlap, huh? You never would have guessed. 
Have I seen the Barbie HGTV special? No, I have not. Although on my TV earlier today, I think Barbie, is it available to like buy now the film uh, and, and like watch at home? Because on, on my TV earlier today, um, I was watching a YouTube video while I was eating lunch and I turned on my TV and I have like one of those smart TVs where it's like you can pick YouTube, Netflix, whatever. And it's stupid, uh, Samsung has it like uh, sponsored by things on it. And so one of, they said like Barbie, YouTube, Netflix, <laughs> and there's like a Barbie button on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> on the home screen of the TV. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna pay for it right now. That seems expensive, but... <laughs> um, it was on my TV, so... $25! Oh my god! Is it actually $25 to rent? $25 to rent? That can't- that can't be true. Are you serious? That seems like, absurdly expensive. $25 to rent, $30 to buy. Why on earth would you rent it then? <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Why would you rent it if you can buy it for only $5 more? They want you to buy it, don't they? Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. I can't believe that. I'm gonna use some more grilled cheese chairs over here, I think. Maybe I'll get a little table in between them. Yeah, that definitely sounds like an incentive to get you to buy it. I'm so interested in... What, do they like... Do they have something to gain from you buying it versus renting it? Like, what's the... That's interesting. I don't know anything about how that stuff works. I mean, they gain an extra $5, yeah, but like, at that point, here's my thing. Would they maybe want you to rent it more than once though? So like, is there is there something else aside from your extra $5 that they would benefit from like I guess like having the sales numbers like they can inflate sales numbers by making the sale price not much more than the renting price to try and trick you into buying it so you think you have options and then you buy it because you're like oh I can buy it and it's like so similar in price and then they sell it more kind of like how Taylor Swift releases four five six seven eight nine ten variants of each album on vinyl <laughs> and then she's like buy all of them collect them all <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to trick you into buying more. Yeah, interesting. Should I use this table outside? I don't really know what... Anyway, you can rewatch if you buy it, but that's- that's what I mean though. Like, you would think that renting it would make them more money, but maybe there's like another reason and I just don't know enough about this. This is kind of, these these colors of orange are kind of ugly. Let me see if I can find a better bar stool. This might be better to be honest. Or, ooh, brighter orange. Oh, it's horrible, it looks like a carrot. That's the carrot, that's the leaves. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I never, you know, Riv, that's an interesting point. I hadn't really thought about like the, with the strike and the residuals from streaming services, just like, I don't know how renting a film works. Like if you like rent it on Amazon or whatever. Yeah, does, is that like the same with the residuals as, as it would be if you like from like a streaming service? Interesting. That makes sense too. I don't know enough about like the buying renting business. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. That's an interesting point though, but I don't know how it works. So anyway, um, I want a table and I want orange chairs and I don't like any of the options. So well, yeah, the residuals online is basically $0. I know that part, but I'm just curious about the renting versus like streaming. 
I don't know anything about how that part works. We know that they don't pay him enough residuals. Um, okay, I think I hate all of these. <laughs> Maybe I could do like a teal color instead. You guys, it's, it's, there's like a lot of bad happening over here. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I was thinking about trying to put like a little sneaky hidden section. This is what I was gonna do before and then I talked myself out of, but I think I would prefer this to be honest. We can try and hide them a little bit. That might be nice. And then it makes this part smaller too. Um, we, I guess, you know what we could do instead of that, we could use this one instead. Use the same fence again. That's make, that makes more sense. I'm struggling a lot with color scheme because <laughs> there's like so many random colors happening uh, to a fault. I hate this. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. A ping pong table. Ooh. That might be honestly kind of fun. Maybe we could do that instead of having a dining table. They can play ping pong instead. Okay. Okay. Try adding a bed diagonally to take up more space. You know, Hope, that's an excellent idea. I'll just put a bed diagonal in the middle of the room. Where'd you get that idea? What a, what a fun concept that would make perfect sense. <laughs> totally, sure. Okay, I got some little orange flowers. That helps too. Um... Ew, I don't like it. Maybe I should get some pool stuff. So I had originally made the pool kind of small. I don't know, should I do it like this, make it bigger instead? It might make more sense for it to go all the way like this. You guys, what if I put a hot tub in there? Doesn't really, oh. Do a slide. Oh, there's no slides. We do have diving boards. We do have diving boards, uh, but we don't unfortunately have any sort of pool slide in this game, which is very sad. And I would like to have one, but we don't have one. The best we can do is a diving board. Can't woohoo if only one side exposed. <laughs> yeah, but the I'm not only putting a hot tub in so they can woohoo. I'm, I mean, you just made me search woohoo <laughs> instead of hot tub. <laughs> Ew. Oh my god. That's disgusting. <laughs> Should I put it like one away from the fence? I don't know. I was doing this on purpose to try and line it up with like the, um, I wanted it to line up with the path, but I don't think that's gonna work, everyone. Sorry. Hot tub in the pool. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, right? Yard can be bigger. Yeah, but I don't really want to make it too much bigger than this. Um, I guess I could. I kind of liked the patio being a little bit tight. I know that makes no sense, but that's what I wanted. <laughs> we can make it a little bit bigger because then it can have a bigger pool and then still have stuff around it. I don't think we need a hot tub. 
We could potentially put the hot tub in the courtyard. I don't know. Maybe? I think I will paint this all with the cool brick. I don't know if I want to have... I don't know. Pool decor thing on the fence? Oh, that's a good idea. I think it would look too tacky. Maybe we could just do a dining table, because we don't have a dining table out here. So we could put the dining table inside of the courtyard. Because we couldn't have one out here, there wasn't enough space. Ducky, Papaya, thank you for the subs. Okay. That is an idea. I was thinking about getting this thing. Cute. Pool cleaning supplies. Oh good, it comes in orange and green. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Realty, it, this is, uh, the yellow generation house was, basically here's what happened. I started renovating this house, decided I hated it, never did it again, left it, ditched it. Then I built a mid-century modern, not so very house for the yellow gen with a rocket ship in a courtyard like this, kind of inspired by this, but not the same. Does that make sense? <laughs> but the not so very house has like a totally different layout and stuff. The kitchen was like right here. It was all different shape and style, but sort of similar vibes a little bit. Okay, so in the courtyard, we talked about putting some stuff like carrot core. Oh my god. <laughs> I know some of you really hate this build. I know you do. They've been talking about it all day. They really, really don't like the color scheme and they want to make sure we know. Yeah, I think it was Hope's idea to do the courtyard with the rocket and I think that it was a good one though. So don't feel bad, Hope. It was fun. And I liked it. And I still think about it sometimes, you know? So it was worth it, well worth it. That's bad, don't do that. Bad too, don't do that either. Maybe no rug. Maybe no rug, okay. Is a fire pit too much of a hazard? Well, we could do a fire pit instead of a table if we wanted to. I'm not opposed to that. Um, maybe the... Oh, you know what? Oh, they're not gonna like this. I think it's kind of fun though. Isn't that cool? So it's got like some orange couches on it a little bit. We can get ourselves some more flowers this way too. And that would be nice. Okay. I like that. Some of the vertical planters. We could maybe get some vertical planters so they can grow some plants in here for food. They had a garden originally, so it wouldn't be bad to have them in here. If I search vertical, yeah. A-OK -okay Bloomer Vertical Garden. <laughs> is what it is officially called. All right. So there, if you wanted to, you could make that into a meat wall. I'm not going to, okay. But if you wanted to, it is possible. <laughs> okay. I think this might be the right size for these. Let me test it really quickly. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely perfect. Oh, you guys. Come on. That's so cool. That is so, 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 so cool. I really like that, actually. Should I try and angle this a little bit? Maybe that's better. All right, what else can we add in? Maybe, like... 
I don't know why I'm looking at transportation, but I was just wondering if there was maybe like a cool... <gasps> oh my god, maybe they store their bike out here. Because it's locked in. No, I should put that in the front yard. I'll put the bike right here. That's so good. That's like the exact right color scheme. So cute. Okay, what else? Bee box? I don't know if I want to put bees. I don't know if I want to put bees. I don't think I want to have any bugs either. Oh, I was thinking about getting some pool floaties. Where's the other one? Chicken coop? <laughs> oh, that would make perfect sense, actually. Maybe pizza is the other one? I like the string lights on that a lot. I think that's so cool. Um... I think... How m I don't know if we need that much else in here though. Maybe we could have a little gnome or something. I don't want to make it so busy that you can't really walk around. This is what the roof looks like, by the way. I think that's so cool. Maybe I'll leave it so it doesn't get too busy. I think it's got enough. I think it's got enough. Okay, we still have to do the bedrooms, but um, I think I might end the stream here in a minute because, um, frankly, I have kittens to check on. <laughs> so I think I might end the stream here in a minute. Um, skill item? Yeah, maybe we can add something like that when we come back. That could be a good idea. I like the concept. Okay, so we'll mess with that later. Um, I thought I heard my cat. I didn't. <laughs> and we'll finish these, um, we'll finish these rooms next time. So stream schedule, I unfortunately cannot stream tomorrow because I'm hanging out with my parents. Um, but I'll be here on Monday. This weekend I'm not going to be live because I don't stream on Sundays either. But I'll be here on Monday. Um, and on Monday, I think we're going to work on building a little bit more so we can finish this and then start something else. And then on Tuesday, I'm assuming is going to be the base game update before the new stuff pack comes out. And then on Thursday, the new stuff pack comes out. So we have some fun stuff planned for next weekend. It should be good. Um, but I think on that note, I shall go and find someone to raid. Yeah, kitty cat, I'm always here at four o'clock Eastern time. So it's seven o'clock now, but I went live like three hours ago. Um, so three hours ago is when I go live. I don't know what time's on your end, but <laughs> three hours ago. Hopefully that helps you figure it out. Um, and then I think from there, maybe we could go over and raid one of my friends, Miv, perhaps. When is Faye Farm? Bestie, I got so many games I want to play and not enough time. <laughs> we got Sims packs coming out next week. We got to play that first. Um, okay, when they go and raid my friend Miv though, I think that'll be fun. Miv was, uh, it looks like maybe building in the Sims. Did it start the raid? Okay, good. It like glitched for a second. So we shall go over and say hello to Miv. Um, and then I will catch you all in a couple of days, okay? Thank you for hanging out. Um, I'm gonna say hi to the kittens for you in a minute. <laughs> Happy Friday, have a great rest of your evening, everyone. Um, and I'll catch you all later, okay? Okay, have a great night, everybody. Bye.